Hey y'all, it's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. I am here with a Scentsy haul. I am very excited about this one because um, this has a lot of really, I don't know, like just newness that I'm excited about. Um, and so I um, can't wait to share it with you. I was super excited when it got delivered. Um, so let's get into it. I have my packing slip. Everything's here, which is exciting. I have lots of Scentsy paper. Um, oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so um, as you guys know, probably um, the Disney Scents, I'm drinking some coffee. Mm. The Disney scents can sometimes be a little light. Um, they are a little bit more expensive than regular Disney products. I mean, than regular Scentsy products. So I don't, I try to always get them and smell them. Um, and I have a few that are in my club. Um, but I don't always like haul them a lot. And so when I get them, like it's a little bit special for me. So they came out like with Disney Heaven in the last couple of weeks and a lot of these things are still available so if this is something you're interested in let me know hit me up and i will um i will get you um situated so first i'm going to show you the non-disney stuff um simply because i was placing an order i had a friend that wanted um, a few bars and so i got her some luna number one which is a sweet floral bestseller um, if you have never tried um, Scentsy, that would be where I start. She got Summer Holiday, which is um, toasted marshmallow and flint and salty sea air. It reads a little powdery musky to me, um, but it's right up her alley. Now in Zen, boomer of a scent. Super strong. Salty and a little bit citrusy. Very nice. And then Skinny Dippin'. Is also a very beloved scent. It's like tropical fruit notes. And then I got two bars because she only wanted four and, you know, bundle and save, bundle and save. Um, if you get five bars, you get the sixth for free. So, like, sign me up. So I got two sand swept. Um, I am, I'm just loving sand swept. It is lemon and like a rock note. I just, I'm, I, I love it. So I know that's weird, but that's what I love. So, and then I got some bars. I got one each of the new, um, the new bars. So the first one is the little mermaid and it's called kiss the girl. And look at that packaging with Sebastian. Love it. Okay. And I wanted to tell you guys the notes, um, not just what I smell. So I'm going to tell you what I smell first. Okay. So it, it reads pretty light to me. Honestly, the color of the wax is really pretty. Top and bottom smell different. So this smells pretty floral. Um, pretty floral with a little fruit. What does it say? It says strawberry, raspberry, lime, and subtle waves of sea mist will make you fall head over heels. Hmm. I smell like a kind of Um, like tulip lily note, kind of those um, really um, kind of um, green smelling florals that are like almost, um, you know, delicate flower, like del delicate petals. And then a little bit of raspberry. So it reads a little bit different on my nose than what the scent notes say, but that's totally fine and absolutely expected. Um, well, absolutely expected in my mind, I guess, because I'm not like a, you know, I'm not Danny who can like sniff out every single note and like knows all the things because she's amazing like that. Okay, this is Faithful Friends. Look, oh, Lady in the Tramp. Okay, so this is very fruity. I'm going to say strawberry, raspberry, pear. It says luscious um, berries and succulent pear mixed with, mixed with freesia blossoms and are as sweet as a faithful friend. And I do get freesia. So um, yeah, I get those notes. Um, some people have said that they 
that this smells strange to them. This does not smell strange at all to me. It smells like fruit and a little bit of floral. I, I'm liking it. Um, and then um, the last one is um, <laughs> the Disney Princess scent. And it's called True Love Awaits. And um, mm, I think I like this one the best. Ooh, it's hard to get out though. Mm, okay. This is also fruity and a little bit um, like sugary and like perfumey. What does it say? It says ripe raspberry, mandarin, and a sweet, and a kiss of sweet vanilla. Hmm. I do like this one. Okay, so I'm going to say that they're all um, in true Disney bar fashion, a little bit light, but this one is probably the strongest. This one is probably my favorite. And good thing that this one is because they came out with oh, pods. Oh, I, I had to. I had to. I am love, love, loving, like honestly loving the um, mini fan diffusers that you plug into your computer. I have it in my office and I plug it in every morning and every single day, multiple times a day, people walk in and they're like, it smells so good in here. Um, I have a Johnny Appleseed. Um, I have Johnny Appleseed and Hibiscus Pineapple and I switch them, which is a super great thing about these pods is like, you don't have to, it's like nothing, right? Like you just, okay, I want to change my scent. You know, like it's not, it's awesome. So I got this for me. Um, so I'm really excited. And then um, another friend got one to go with something out, the last things in the box. And then they also came out with this Marvel Nine Realms pods. Oh, and this smells amazing. Okay, yeah. I gotta text a friend about this one. Okay, so this is like, they say like it's like um, aquatic and like lavender lightning. I don't know what any of that is, but it is a beautiful scent. I'm so glad I got this one. So, but those go along with the things that are, first of all, still available, which I was like shocked because I was like, every, you know, Scentsy Land right now has been craziness um, with selling out of stuff, but I, these are still available. So they have a princess, a Disney princess wall fan diffuser. And you open it up and it says kind and true. And oh my gosh, it's so cute. Um, okay, so I love it. First of all, it's like baby blue, okay? And it has Belle with her books. And this is licensed. So this is her actual image. It's not like one of those like knockoff things that they have at like the Dollar Tree that like Belle has, you know, green eyes and, and pink hair or whatever. You know, she's wearing a blue dress. I don't know. And this is Cinderella. And even like the little details here. So like um, here is a book and Mrs. Potts. Oh, no. Is that... No, and Chip, I'm sorry. And Chip, and then like a rose up here. And then you have Cinderella here, which has um, like one of her little mice friends, a slipper and a pumpkin. And then on the back, it's, you know, um, that, like just cobblestone kind of stuff. And then Ariel, and it has Sebastian and some like sea stuff. Um, but I mean, just like that attention to detail, like all the little things, it's amazing. And all you do, um, it comes, you know, with the little silicone thing is you put your pods in here, you snap it down. Um, but look at this guys. I didn't even think about this, um, or like how this was going to be, but look, look, so cute, right? I'm super excited by this. I mean, okay. It sits like, I, I'm not clipping it in cause this isn't mine. But it sits like, I mean, it sits normal. I guess I'll put it in normal so you guys can see that it's like not um, wonky. But there's like little indentations you see where it like lines up and you just snap it in. But this is super cute. Yeah, okay. So, so that is really cute. And um, 
I, I bought it for my friend's mom. And so, I mean, she's like, I'm gonna say she's in her 50s. She's probably a little bit older than that, but I'm, I'm giving her grace because we all need that. Um, and she saw this and wanted it. And I'm like, girl, do you? So there's that. But this is the other thing that was released. I hope you can guess based on my pod selection. But we not only did we get a princess warmer, we got a Spider-Man one. And so that, which is awesome. Um, and on this little package, it says, with great power comes great responsibility, thwip. And so here it is. He is gonna love this. My friend's son loves to change pods. And so when she saw this, she's like, you must order it. Look, it, this is like plasticky. So, I mean, super easy for a kid to use. It's not going to break. It's not going to um, be something that you have to worry about the wax, anything. I mean, it's super simple. Um, this light turns on um, when you push it. I mean, it's just, it, it does not have a night light. So um, these are just um, the diffuser situation, which is great because like, depending on the kid, like some kids like a nightlight. Um, I have one kid that's like, must be dark. I need to have the, and she's been like that since she was real little. And then the other one is like, you know, likes to have light. So, um, anyways, though, I just think those are super cute. And with the new pods, I'm, I'm super excited because if they are coming out with pods, um, this has been my experience. So the Disney sense, can read a little light, like I just talked about. And um, there are some scents that smell amazing, but when I put them like on a warmer, I can hardly smell it. One of those is iridescent pearl. And I was like, I love the smell in the clamshell, but I can't get any performance on the wax. I got the pods y'all and it is heaven. Like it is love. So. Like if you have a scent that you really love, but it does not perform super well in the um, wax, give the pods a try because it's just a different formulation and it's a different fragrance system. And I have found that the stuff that I really like that's light works really well in the pods. That's just been my experience. Um, you know, I try to be really honest with you guys if I feel like something, you know, doesn't make a lot of sense or whatever, but for me, um, that's that's been the case. So. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next channel. See, it's early. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye y'all.